first part of the remote mobility assessment is a hip rotation test. Set up for this, we want the camera up high, looking down on you from above. Next, lay on your back with your body facing the camera directly and bring one knee up so it's directly over your hip. Maintain a vertical thigh and just turn your leg into external rotation, holding it for a few seconds at your end range and then rotating the other way into uh, hip internal rotation, holding for a few seconds, and then repeat for three to four reps. As you do this, make sure you do not shift your pelvis. Nothing should move except the rotation of your thigh. Once you accumulate those three to four reps on one leg, repeat the process on your other leg. The next part of the remote assessment is going to be a test for shoulder rotation. Again, this is an active test, and compared to the hip, this one is probably a little trickier to complete correctly. It's going to require some good honesty on your part about if you're moving from your shoulder blade. So the camera angle we want to see is directly from the side. The test position for rotation is here, so that the angle between your upper arm and your torso is 90 degrees and your elbow is directly off of the shoulder. So from here, we want to use our opposite hand to monitor the scapula position. We don't want it to change from where it's at now. Make a fist and slowly rotate your arm externally. And again, be honest with yourself. Go as far as you can, only rotating your upper arm. So this is my end range. And you can see I could kind of fake extra rotation by tipping my scapula back, and it might be difficult for you to see on camera, but my hand tells me here I can feel my shoulder blade shifting back and down to try to make up for my upper arm rotation. And then I want you to show me internal rotation, so again, monitoring shoulder blade here is important, and we're going to rotate in, 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 find our end range. Finding uh, scapular compensation here is a little easier. Uh, if you are to cheat and let your shoulder blade move, you're going to see that shoulder blade rise and roll forward to try to get extra range. So we don't want to see this. So what I recommend is getting locked in, trying a couple reps, really being honest about if you're feeling any motion occurring at the scapula. And once you kind of get it figured out, then show me our three to four test reps. So we're gonna rotate back, we're gonna hold that maxed out position for a few seconds, rotate internally, hold our end range here for a few seconds, and keep monitoring as you repeat for three to four reps so we can get some good information about your shoulder rotation.